Where do I find chart of accounts in new QuickBooks Online? So this is your home page, lo already logged in. And uh, so this is the plus sign. This is where you enter credit card, uh, all the transactions, including credit card and customer invoicing and everything. So to find your chart of account, so all you have to do is come here. This is your gear, company gear, and click the gear, upper right hand corner top upper corner so click here and here is your chart of accounts so if you want to set up new chart of accounts you just want to visit the already set up chart account you just click it here so here is your chart of accounts it's very easy the upper uh, your, your company gear and select chart of accounts under settings as you can see here I already have all the uh, some of the uh, uh, important accounts already set up here. In this example, I've got the bank account here under type is bank, and this account receivable it's uh, automatic default. Once you create uh, invoices, it will autom automatically create account receivable if it's already if it's not already there. So this is the one account you don't need to create it. It's it's created by QuickBooks Online. So don't try to create a duplicate accounts civil or accounts payable like that. It's automatically created when you enter transactions. So uh, and then you can create uh, other current assets if you need it. So uh, let's just say you want to create a new account here. Just click new one. So you give a choice. As you can see here, the category is type is accounts civil. This is a main AR account. So you don't want to create another one so you can create anything else so you can create a bank account uh, any types of bank accounts you can create a fixed assets if you have bought some uh, fixed assets big ticket items and you want to capitalize it fixed assets the buildings or furniture and fixtures uh, or equipment you just create it here like this and uh, uh, if you have uh, just uh, started using credit card, you want to create a credit card. Let's say you have American Express credit card, then you want to create it. As you can see here, the category is already listed here. Just come and just drop down selector here, and you select a credit card here. So it's very important you collect, you select the correct correct category type if you're creating a new uh, new account so it's make sure on the category you have the correct category type so in chart of accounts you have a balance sheet on top and then you have a balance sheet accounts and then income account and the cost of goods sold uh, if you are using uh, cost of goods sold uh, and if you're not using then you don't have all this cost of goods sold type account and expenses so it's basically balanced accounts cost of goods sold income and expenses those are the main expense type so the bank account and then you have account civil or uh, other current assets uh, if you're making payment if you're uh, giving some loan to your employees uh, this is it goes to your other current assets and if you're making some investment on some big uh, uh, big property or something so it goes to your current assets or long-term assets sometimes it could be long-term sometimes it could be uh, short-term the short-term you bought you made some investment and expecting uh, payoff within one year or less than other current asset if it is uh, longer than that then it would be a long-term asset. Let's say you have invested in certain properties, and uh, uh, in, and you you are not expecting uh, payment right away. Uh, then it would be like uh, other assets, like here. So if you other assets, so that's your long-term, like security or the long-term assets. So. That's your other assets. 
So if you want to create a save this. So you'll see other assets right after fixed assets. So in the balance sheet you will have plus the bank account, then AR account, then the current assets, and the fixed assets, and then the other assets, it's a long term asset. We're not expecting uh, payment on this one for a while, it would, be, it would take more than one year. Whereas if you just give payroll advance, most likely you deduct that from payroll on this next payroll cycle. So that's the difference. Less than one year, or one year, and over one year. That's the other asset. And on the liability side, the first thing you have is accounts payable. You enter the bills and you want to make a, a payment within a month or so. And the credit card entries, same thing, so short term liability. And then you have, uh, if you have if you're charging sales tax, so that's still a uh, current liability that you set up separately. And uh, you have payroll liabilities if you want to create uh, payroll liabilities, deducting payroll from, uh, from your employees and paying it back to, uh, to IRS or state agencies. So this is where it goes. And if you have a rent deposit as current liabilities, you create current liabilities here. And in this case, like your long-term liabilities, let's say you bought an automobile and you're going to make payments in the next five years, you set up as long-term liabilities. And on the equity side, uh, you'll have uh, always the opening balance equity. So you, the, normally it would be zero balance sometimes. If you're transferring from prior year, you may have some balance. So it's normally should be zero if, if you have entered everything correctly from prior trial balance. And then you have your, uh, your owner's equity, right here, owner's equity and owner's draw if it's a sole proprietor's type. And uh, so it depends upon your, uh, your, your business entity type. And then you have income type create whatever income type you want you just create it here and cost of goods sold you can create cost of goods sold for anything basically it could be products it could be in this case it's a cost of goods sold for everything it could be for labor it could be for a while uh, franchise a while defeat shipping costs uh, this inventory shrinkage, shrinkage if you are, have inventory accounts it automatically create this account you don't need to create it and merchant fees, if, it's, if you're uh, using credit card for, uh, uh, for accepting uh, customer payment, you have a merchant fees, it's, the, it's part of cost of sold, either cost of sold or the overhead, and then you have expenses, all kinds of expenses. So that's about it. And from here, you can go to register too if you want to check how much you spend on affordable expenses. You can just uh, create a report. As you can see here, so this is your automobile expense for uh, for, for time period here. So this, in this case, it's the from February 28, 2014. So, so the, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can go back in here and you can still see it. So let's say chart of accounts here. And if you just want a quick report, you can always just highlight any uh, account you want to look at it. Let's say uh, the income account. Or it's after uh, equity. So let's say your sales. Just uh, go to the report, quick report here. And you will see all the transactions here. So you can take advantage of your chart of accounts and quickly look at everything you need same thing in here report for a bank account right right here this is a clearing account chart of accounts you can select anything you want so this one click report right here and uh, you can print it from here or from your directly from the chart of accounts you just want to print your chart of accounts like this you can just print it here like this if you want to print your chart of accounts so that's about it on chart of accounts and uh, uh, if you
you have any questions, you can visit our website and uh, uh, you can ask questions. Just go to newqbo.com and forward slash ask. newqbo.com forward slash forward slash ask. ask. So newqbo.com forward slash ask.